Television, everybody. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Your testimony is what that uh, he went to exam for. What happened? Repeat. It. I failed my exam. I was very agitated each time I faced my exams. The first one, you fell. Yeah. Second one. I also failed. On the exam hall, what happened? I always feel agitated, like anxiety, unexpected, just clouded over me. Really? Yep. First and second? First and second. And the third one was, before then, I got the grace of God to, for them to approve me to do the second. Okay. You fell the first one, you fell the second one, you get approved for the third one. Yeah. Now. The first and second one, which village do you come from? Imo State. Where in Imo State? Olo Umaka Olo. Umaka Olo. You are watching Open Heaven. Let's watch her prophecy. After failing the first and second one. There is someone called Lillian. You have been struggling to take an exam. A nursing exam. Lillian, you don't know what is happening to you. You take it and fell. You take it. You took it and fell and took it and fell and took it and fell. I don't know what is happening to you. You are intelligent, but you have been failing in that particular exam. You are becoming discouraged. Try one more. Try one more. Lillian, try one more. Your case is being prophesied. The angels are already in charge. Try one more, Lillian. I see you being victorious. Amen. In the name of J E S U S. Jesus. Okay. After the this prophecy, you now took the third one. Yes. So what happened? Before the third one, um, I was asked to send an appeal. I did, and they re they rejected it. I was weeping. And thank God, God gave my husband knowledge to say, let's do this. And we did that. And they approved it. And on the day of the exam, it was through him. And um, the, screen was, the screen was working, but they didn't see me. After the prophecy? After the prophecy, yes. They, they were seeing me. I was seeing them. They were not seeing me. And they were not hearing me. And they said, okay, use your phone if you have your phone and i use my phone 
I was seeing them and they were not seeing me. And they said, okay, turn it upside down. I turned upside down. Then they were not seeing me, but I was not seeing them. And that's how God helped me out. There wasn't a no... Wow, no God who can use everything to give you success this year. Secondly, I don't know how many times you have fell. She fell this first one, right? Second one, the prophecy came before the third one, and she passed. I prophesied for someone who has been failing. This year, you will not fail again. Amen. Amen. If you believe it, stand up and shake your hand and shout fire. Yeah, yeah. fire yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody shout, I, I refuse to fail again. I refuse to fail again. again. Use your hand and hold somebody's neck. Two hands. Shout it. You will not fail again. You will, you will not, not fail, fail again. again. Help me to take who somebody beside you. I said, take who that person. Tell that person you will not fail again. You will not fail again. The yoke of failure is here by destroy. And the matter is settled. Take her down. A case is settled. Who are the. Ah, come. Please let those policemen here, please come and pick these two girls. Two of them are under arrest. How many times have you come to Nigeria? Three. Huh? Three. Louder your voice now. I don't know how to speak American English. You are born in America, right? You are born where? Switzerland. Switzerland. Swazi. Swazi. Come, is that what they call Switzerland? Is that Swazi? Or there is another country called Swaza? Okay, there's another country called Swaza. Hey, somebody help to bite his tongue to pronounce this one. Okay, that's where you are born. That's where you based now. Where do you based now? America. America. Okay. So how many times have you come to Nigeria? This is our third time. Huh? Our third time. I don't hear from the no, speak from your mouth. Three times. Okay. Do you know how to speak Igbo language? Huh? No. Louder your voice. No. Do you know how to speak? Mba. <laughs> Did they force you to come here today? So what? Huh? Let, let the mother come. Did you force her to come? Eh? Yes. Okay. I do understand. I can see. Mm, so, you, you can speak English, but what about Switzerland? Switzerland. Can you speak Switzerland? <laughs> Only English. Wow. Wow, I can see. So did you travel to East? Yes. Huh? Yes. You travel there? Yes. Did the mosquito bite you? Huh? Yes. Will you come back again to Nigeria? Huh? Yes. When? Next year. Next year. Hmm. So what effort are you making to know how to speak and hear your language? Um, well, it is one of my New Year's resolution to take classes to speak. Uh, no, 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 okay. Let's again. We're taking Igbo lessons in America. Igbo speaking, Igbo hearing lessons. So what is your mom doing at home? She not speaking Igbo at home? Not to us. <laughs> Let your mother come. Come, 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 woman. Why are you not speaking Igbo for your children? 
I have three of them like this. The first one has just, just got married. I used to speak, I don't even know how to speak English anyway, but that one wants, wants or just like to learn Igbo and she can read Igbo, read Igbo Bible, sing is in the choir. Even all of them are in the choir. They can sing a lot of uh, songs in Igbo. So the only thing is that they don't know how to explain themselves very well in Igbo. They understand. No, if you are speaking Igbo at home, without putting English, then we know without even doing lesson. So it's good to speak Igbo to your children very, very well. When are you traveling back? God bless you, people. Where is your dad? I will speak. I will say, people. God bless you. You don't need to be angry easily. Are you hearing me? It's not good for a girl to always be angry. You're blessed. God bless you. Bring them for the program. So teach your children Igbo all. And you come. Two more, three of you. Who is the wait? And teacher, who is the father of this girl? I want to know the father. Huh? <laughs> huh? When you see her, you don't see me. Where is the mother? She is my face. <laughs> Do you know how to speak Igbo language? Anama Suma for man. Igbo Yeri Yeri. Oh? Igbo Yeri Yeri. Mba. Mba. Don't listen to your father. O Yeri Yeri is a good thing. Say yes. Mba. <laughs> Why don't you know how to speak Igbo? Damn, they don't, they didn't speak to us when we were younger. Your parents don't speak to you? Well, they speak a little bit, but not a lot. They don't speak all the time? They don't speak all the time. And that is the problem, because we even want to pretend. We want to show off everything. We want our children to speak like America. And you are living your own language, God-given language. Why? English language, does it make people great? Who is the cause of this? Speak! Munia. Eh? Munia Rabo. Mostly him. Mostly her, because I, I've been in America for so long. So, yeah, why be after me? Supposed to speak uh, more of Igbo language. It's good to teach your children your language. Russians, I have a lot of Russian friends that are born in the US. They speak Russian. They also speak English. A lot of Indian people in America that speak, they speak India, they also speak English. But only Igbo people will only speak English, you know Igbo. It's not good. That is not who we are. We are not American people. We are Igbo. Even though we are born there, you are born there. So value your language. Teach them whom they are. So that anytime time you are no more, they can come back here. Because many Igbo have lost generation. Children that will not come back again. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. The reason why you are coming home now is because probably your parents, you were born here. Right? Born here, born and bred, yes. Yes. And you, you value the culture. You know how to speak the language. These ones you are giving birth in Texas, in California, in New York, that don't speak the language, that don't even come off. Anytime the parents are no more, do you think anything will bring them? Some of them will definitely come on the barrier there. God, God forbid. 
In an EM Neku, no, so you are like a Jiba, Charlie Luti. She doesn't know how to speak. You don't know. Are you here to marry? Yes. Is her husband hungry? You yet? Yes. God will bless you with a good, calm Igbo man. It's good for people to marry from their race. Not you go and marry African American that have tattoo on his body. That smoke in the night, he will be slapping you. So it's good to marry from your race. God bless people. It's not a sin to marry outside your race, but it's very good and advisable, more favorable to marry from your race. Are you hearing me? There are so many Igbo cool headed cute guys out there and who go give me god bless you would like to see them but if there is no chance god bless you jam your hands for them and then kill nature by america god bless you follow them pick to them immediately what is your name chinedum 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 what is the meaning God leads me. Which state do you come from? Imo state. We are in Imo. Which local government? Abombise. Abombise. What is your town? The name of your town? Butsu. What is the name of your village? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> what are you telling her? You're not telling me anything. Town is different from village. My village is in Butsu. Where were you born? Houston. Houston, Texas. Where is Houston, Texas? In the U.S. Ah. You, Unko, what is your name? Chiamaka. Chiamaka. From where? U.S. Abambise. Abambise? Yes. How many times have you come to Nigeria? Three. Three. Where were you born? U.S. Do you know how to speak Igbo? Some. Like what and what do you know how to speak? Bia, what's this all? Get in there. Come and eat. Come and eat, you are still speaking English. Oh. So you can woman. S speak. They are not meeting if speak those people you know how to speak. Cheres. There we go. Huh? Chinese, wait. Yes. Oh, Chinese, come here. Why are you people not speaking in both of these children? This is parental fault. Speak no English at home so that you don't have a lost generation in future. So that they will end up marrying a cool headed Igbo man. It's good for people to marry from their race. God bless you. Did you travel to Mbis? Yes, with a mosquito bite you. What'd you say? Mosquito. Very much so. Which, which toilet do you use? Is it the pit one or the water system? Huh? Water system. Water system. Water system. Okay. Have you watched Zion Ministry before? Huh? Yes. What do you hate about Zion? What do you like about Zion? Don't hate. I don't hate. What do you like most? Humbleness and humility and prophesy. Prophesy. You go. I like everything about Zion. Woku. I like everything about Zion. What is there not to like? No, there's something you must like special that attracted you more. Just that, you know. Yeah. And I have to no. And my hair pulled out so much. No, I need to cook. I just like how you prophesy. May the Lord bless you. And bless you with a good husband. A man that will pregnant you. 
with his several children. How many children do you want? Six. I love that because some of them in America always said two, three. I love, I love that. You, how many would you want? Six as well. Six as well. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Abombi said, "Ezi wo muwa kagono na abatosh." 